Harvest Community Church is hosting a fair trade market, hoping to get your business. That fair trade market happening next week with items that you won't get anywhere else. Nikki and Kim are here to tell us all about what is for sale and what this all benefits. Ladies, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Wow, you've got some great stuff here. Uh, tell us what you got going on. So this is the fourth year at our church. We have hosted a fair trade market, and what we do is we reach out to organizations and ministries throughout the world. We have stuff from over 30 countries worldwide and we these are all items that were made by individuals and they're paid a fair and living wage for their items so that's fair trade um, this allows them to buy you know school fees for their kids or uh, medical care or all those things that folks who are either impoverished or marginalized throughout the world may not be able to afford otherwise this is a place for us to sell their goods so that they can make a living wage wow that is amazing and you have some beautiful items here mm -hmm. um, for the amount of money that someone would pay to buy this and you kind of touched on it um, what what does that mean to them i mean so for example, um, these necklaces right here are made in Ethiopia by widows. Their husbands were killed in the conflict between Ethiopia and Eritrea. They make these out of jewelry. These are women who wouldn't have a source, or I mean, sorry, out, this jewelry is made out of bullets, sorry. Oh and it's bullet a source- Bullet casings. Bullet casings, <laughs> sorry. This, uh, um, these are things that these women wouldn't have as an income otherwise. So when they build, make these, they send them out, we buy them. So you have bought a gift for maybe a loved one and then you're sending basically a gift back to these women because they now have a source of income that they wouldn't have otherwise. Wow. So we support, for example, these are made by um, students at a deaf school on the Tex Texas-Mexico border. Um, so that provides them a source of income and helps them develop skills that they would not otherwise be able to have. Mm -hmm. um, we work with organizations who help women coming out of trafficking, mm -hmm. um, especially so it, in Asia. Wow, so many incredible things. Just It, it opens your eyes to what, yeah. what else is going on in the world. And I suppose when people come uh, to purchase, they can find out more about each item as well, huh? We love to tell the stories that go along with the items. Yeah, how did you guys get involved with this? Four years now? We've been doing it for four years. So We met somebody who was doing this in Cincinnati Wow. And she tutored us and gave us a list to start with, and we've made a lot of our own connections now. And um, incredible! And, and so, when the fair trade, it's the 15th and 16th, the market. Yes. Yes. So on Friday, it's from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, on Friday, and then we'll be there from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday, the 16th. And it's at Harvest Community Church, which is at 3903 Cumming Street. Great. What kind of prices do these types of things go for, real quickly? We Variety. have things for $2 and we have things for $200. Wow. And there will be between four and 5,000 different items. Wow. Is it just we a, fill many rooms. Just a taste of what's uh, to come and helping a lot of people. Ladies, thank right. you so much. Thanks for coming in. Thank, thank you. you.